All right, what I'm showing you here is working on a 2015 Kia Forte. There is a code in the computer, but the check engine light isn't showing. So even though the check engine light isn't on, you still can have codes inside the vehicle. Let me show you what those codes are. Okay, so right down here to my left, where my left knee would be, you have a little panel right there, right? Right there is a little panel. Behind that panel is your OBD2 connector. So that's where you want to cook, hook up your uh, OBD2 scanner to be able to get the codes out of this vehicle. The engine is off, but the ignition is on so that they can communicate with each other. Got my C Reader Professional here. Love this little scanner. It's been a great scanner for me. DTCs in the ECU, one. P0463, fuel level sensor A circuit high. What she is complaining about is after she fills up, gauge on the dash, right there, won't read correctly, and a couple times she's experienced uh, the car not starting. This Kia only has 82,895 miles on it, 83,000. The main cause of this is a bad uh, fuel level sensor um, on the fuel pump, which is inside the tank. It's one module that sits inside the uh, fuel tank, has a level sensor on it, fuel level sensor on it, the fuel pump. And uh, we're going to need to change that out. I already got the fuel pump, but let me show you how you guys change out this fuel pump in this Kia Forte. So the fuel pump actually resides in the center of the rear seat. Got to take this rear seat out. There's, uh, I think there's two 14 millimeter, maybe two 12 or 10s bolts that hold the rear seat on. Got to take those out. Got to take these little guys out. I have no idea what those are. But uh, let me see if I can show this to you. All right, right down here. Got the flashlight stuck in there, so you guys can see. Right there, there's a bolt. There's going to be one on the opposite side, too. This is on the passenger side. All right, they ended up being 12 millimeters. They actually sit right in the middle of the seat. One right there, and one on the other side. So, uh, just take these suckers out. Hopefully, I can grab it. It might fall down. I'll have to retrieve it when I get the seat out. Oh, no. It didn't fall. Right there, there it is. Tiny little bolt. Let's do the other side. With the two 12 millimeter bolts out now, all you gotta do is grab the very front of the back seat, pull up here, pull up on that side, you'll hear a little click, and then you pull it up and get it out of the way. Not hard at all. These little clips go into that hole right there. That's what secures it on the front, okay? Just make sure you put this in a place where it's not gonna get dirty. Right down here, is the uh, fuel pump not a whole lot to it so so you have this little cover here sealed in by this black tar goop and uh no connector is probably right underneath here but let me uh pry this thing up and out and then i'll bring you back in show you the connector there's probably a plastic ring on the top that we need to spin off you can tap it out with a uh, screwdriver and then uh, we'll pull the old uh, fuel pump out, put the new one in. I'm going to pop this seal up in the middle, see if I can get the electrical connector off first before prying up on the... No, I guess it doesn't like that, so I can't... It's off to the side, so I need to pry this thing up first. Just working my way underneath it with a screwdriver. Don't jab it in there or anything, just trying to break this little seal. Alright, I'm going to work my way around that, and then uh, once I get that off, I'll bring you guys back in. Cut the plastic piece up and off. You have two electrical connectors. One there, one right next to it. Let's see, can I get the shot of that? Need more light in here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this now. We got a connector here, and one right there. Pretty simple to get up and off. Right here you have a tab. You just push your finger down right there at the end. Get that little click. And I'm just got that one free and clear. And this one looks like there's a tab right there where my finger's pointing. I'm just gonna pull up on it. Boom, shock a lock a dude. Got those free and clear. Now I can move this grimy little plate out of the way. Just be careful careful of this sealant they're using. It is black and it will stain. I don't want to touch the you know the fabric on the back of the seat. 
Okay, so the next thing we need to tackle will be this connector right here and this one right here. All right, right here you have the fuel line. And I'm going to show you how to get that out. You're going to have a little bit of fuel that comes out. So you might want to get a rag or something. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. So right here, just pull up this. Then you have two clips on the side. you got to squeeze them together at the same time. I found it easier to just come here with my two fingers, push the two sides together at the same time, pull them towards you guys. I'm going to get it free and clear. All right? That's how you get that one off. And to the left is the evap line we got to get off. Okay, now that we have the fuel line off, we got to get this evap line off. And the way you do that is there's a little clip here on the top. And there's one exactly 180 degrees on the bottom. you got to squeeze those two together at the same time and then push uh, that way. Or that way, I should say, towards me. But you have this little rubber ring that goes around the whole fuel pump. And to get underneath, to get this clip on the bottom, I had to move this rubber ring out of the way. So grab this sucker. Just kind of sits there in place and then push it out from underneath there right and i'm able to kind of get my finger under here if you have big fat paws it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get your finger underneath there i have to get like a pair of needle nose pliers or something whatever you do don't damage this line because it'd be a pain in the ass to replace from kia i'm sure it's a dealer specific part only if you can get it right now during this pandemic or plandemic i should say then we'll pull this rubber ring off, and then you have the retainer ring here. Just going to get a chisel and a hammer. Rotate it counterclockwise, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So we'll be going this way to get it loose, and we'll get the fuel pump out. I don't think I'll show you insulation, because if you've gotten this far, you know what to do when installing it. But uh, this is how you get the uh, fuel pump out on a Kia Forte. Okay, right here, got my rubber ring loose. Going to come in here with my finger underneath at the same time. Pulling it out. All right. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Get the rubber ring out. Got the new fuel pump. Made sure it already matches up. Now I will take it. Get a chisel. Knock this ring free and clear. Get this old fuel pump out. Okay, have a bucket when you guys do this, when you pull the actual fuel pump out, because there's going to be fuel in the reservoir. And I'm going to get a little, like, um, two and a half gallon paint can, put it in there. Just make note of which way this goes in. Just be careful of the cinder, or the level. Got the old one, got the new one. I'll put down uh, in the description some links where you guys can pick one up on Amazon. Put some links down in the description below. But what I like to do, you should do it as well, is always make sure everything lines up. So as we see, we have the line here, evap line, fuel line, fuel line. Right there, we've got the connector here and the connector there. This is actually for the uh, fuel pump, to run the fuel pump. This is for the gauge. Make sure everything else looks good. There's no wires that are gone or missing, broken. Remember to take that plastic bag off before you put it into the uh, fuel tank. Do not leave that on there. All right, so like I said, I got a mixing bowl. Put the old fuel pump in. Don't tell my wife I borrowed this from the kitchen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see all kinds of fuel gets in there. All right. You don't want that spilling into your car. You take it out, so that's why I got the uh, the bucket, the can, whatever. Just use something to catch the fuel, so you don't get it all over your vehicle. All right, let's install the new one. Okay, took the bag off. I'm gonna lead it back down in here. Just kind of remember which way it went. Make sure your O-ring's in place, which it is. Lead this bad boy back down in there. Okay. 
down in there nice and deep like. And back in the retaining ring. Okay. Push that down into place. Starting the ring by hand, just pushing down with my left hand on top of the fuel pump. With my right hand, just twisting the ring, righty tighty. All right, guys, there you go. If this uh, video has helped you save money, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I put links down in the description below to the tools that I use and more videos. DIY videos to help you guys save money. So there you guys go, and I will talk to you guys later.